just a few short weeks ago, 20,000 All-Stars. It all leads up to this one game for all the marbles and, of course, bragging rights. We brought you the Home Run Derby. We brought you the opening ceremonies. Now we bring you the meat and potatoes, the real deal, the stuff. Saturday, August 9th, LaGrange, Georgia. Two championship games, one for the 10-year-olds and one to crown the 12-year-old world champion of Dixie Youth Baseball. But wait a second, this is double elimination and anything can happen, as an undefeated Alabama team would soon find out. Again, this is a double elimination tournament, so the Alabama boys and their undefeated record only have to win one game in the finals. But the Louisiana boys, well, they didn't come all the way from the bayou to just lay down and get rolled over by the Crimson Tide. We pick up the action in the second inning. Rob Pertito on the mound. Runners on first and second. One out. Misses the tag and loads them up. Pertito. One of the best players in the tournament. He's in a pickle now. He's got to get out of it. What does he do? He goes to the heater. Pertit's going to set down the last two guys and get himself out of the jam and preserve the one nothing lead. And they continue the good work in the third inning. This is Austin Williams. He's going to dig in, get a pitch he likes, and drive it out of here. Big time bomb out of Austin Williams. That makes it 2 nothing. Rob Pertit now, he's got runners on first and second, a chance to help himself, can he get the runner out of scoring position? Well, how about he gets both runners out of scoring position and himself? So Bama up 5-0 as we go to the bottom of the third. But then big Keith Holcomb is going to have to give up five. Here comes some of the home runs, I promise you. It's Dustin Mitchell, two-run homer. Pulls the Bayou boys to within three. And the shortstop Tesson is going to come up. And the Bayou boys are banging them out of the park. And a visit from the coach is not going to help. Rob Pertit does it on the mound, does it in the plate. No, he does it with his glove. Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Rob Pertit, the Southie, laying out, putting it on the line. And that is your Billy Bob bait and tackle catch of the day. Five Lee Carr's going to come up big for the Bama boys. The two-run jack. 7-5 Bama, but oh, no, wait. Dustin Mitchell. Walk off, three run home run. The Bayou boys extend the series in dramatic fashion and they go on to win the first game of must win eight seven. One run victory for Louisiana. So we got to go to a second game. Boy, they are jacked up. Save some energy, youngins. It's 119 degrees in Troop County, Georgia. Move to the second and deciding game. This is for all the marbles. The 12-year-old World Series. And Louisiana takes an early lead as Cody Street is going to have an RBI single. Runner's going to be out in second. For Louisiana up 1-0. Next pitch going to kind of get away just a little bit from the catcher. Cody's going to take off running. And big time heads up base runner from third base. Has to send comes in for the score. Louisiana, nothing to lose, being aggressive. And then some guy named Rob Pertit just begins to absolutely unload. Look at this. He hit that ball all the way to Tuscaloosa. This young man knows how to do nothing but hit the ball over the fence. Even the shortstop has to say, hey, they're just like, dude, please, please move to Louisiana. Louisiana just keeps coming. This is Reagan Murray at the plate. 
and he's going to power one out. Two run Jack's going to score David Michael Burkhalter, making it 10 to 8. They scored five in the inning. Big time inning for Louisiana. Just absolutely going after each other. Bottom five now, down by two. Bama's got to make a run. Probably the smartest thing anyone's done the entire tournament as Louisiana puts Petit on first. It's a free pass, young man, and watching you play, I know you're disappointed. Get used to it. You're going to have a lot of them. Then Tassin is going to dig in. Runner at first is Petit. Tassin's going to pull the string, get the strikeout, gets him out of the inning. Who's that on the mound? Big Rod Pertit trying to shut down this high-powered Louisiana offense. And he may get in some trouble here. But watch this defense. Gets a little help. From the fence, Matt Bose picks it up, chunks him out at second base. What an arm. After a word of encouragement from Keith Holcomb, Pertit takes it from there. Sits down the next batter and ends the inning. It's not hard to reach back and find a little deep, is it, Rob, when you get help like that out of your outfit. Goodness gracious, look at the smoke. That young man has a ball play. Remember the name, folks. Rob Pertit of Alabama. Bottom six. Last chance for Alabama. Tristan Waldrop comes in from right field, and he'll try to finish the job. And he's going to run into a little trouble. A wild pitch can advance the runners to second and third. Tying runs now in scoring position. It only gets worse. It's Chad Hunter Wyatt. Hits one to second base, not able to make a play, run scores, Bama within one, runner on third. Walter regains his composure, he only needs two out. He's going to strike one out. Then he gets another one, and that's your ball game, folks. Louisiana by one, again. And it's the only one they needed is the Bayou boys and the undefeated Alabama team. Two one-run defeats in one day to become the world champion. Take nothing away from this. If you take nothing away from this matchup, folks, take this. Nothing but a heart in either one of these teams. A lot of fantastic performances, and it's very rare that you see what most people would consider the player of the game coming from a loser team, but maybe the player of the series, Rob Pertin. That young man had one heck of a series. Now for the 10-year-old division. Time to crown a champion, and what a story we've got for you. For the first time since 1971, the host team is in the finals. The Troop County boys battle their way all the way through, and they meet up with the Mississippi team, who they've already beaten once. Can the hometown crowd pull it out? Huge crowd. Huge crowd on hand to crown a champion. But this one may be even... A little sweeter, as the as this year's champion in the 10-year-old division will represent Dixie Youth Baseball in the inaugural National Youth Baseball Championship in Memphis, Tennessee. Mississippi sets this tone early with some great defensive play. Look at this great catch by the shortstop Sanders Ott. Looks like we have another Billy Bob's bait and tackle catch of the day, and this time it came early. Nice catch, young man. Way to go. Bottom one, no score. Wild pitch going to bring home Cortez Brown. He hesitates briefly at third. Uh, what am I going to do? Oh, yep, uh, I think I'm going to go now. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, that kick can play tailback for me. We call that a tall sweep, Cortez. And you've got the legs to do it. Up steps one of my favorite players in the entire tournament. Because he reminds me of me. Big tag. Gatlin's going to tag this one. Goodness gracious. All the way up the hill. Look at him go, folks. Tag tournament batting champion, and it's easy to see why. 3-0 Mississippi. Get you some big daddy. Hey, Tag, make sure you don't miss home plate, fella. Yes. Goodness gracious. Top of the second. Matthew Anderson going to line out to the second baseman. Jonah Bankston to Sanders out for one. Over the tag at first. Double play. And boy, are they feeling it. Woohoo! Big defense and a big game. Mississippi boys putting on a defensive show, flashing the leather. And then Keon Ramson's going to come up with a big two-out RBI double to make it three to one. And Coach Guy Gatlin wants to have a word with his hurler. Well, whatever you said, Coach. 
write it down to use next year because it worked. Then Conley will get out of the inning with no further damage, and the score remains 3-1. Bottom two in Mississippi is on fire. First, a hard two-out base hit by Peyton Yon will score Stephen again. Peyton with a little hand slap, and he's feeling it too. And they kept coming. A base hit by Cortez Brown scores Brantley Hughes. But some great defense by Troop County. Sanders Ots hit one up the middle, and they're able to. Oh, look at that. Fired him out at the plate. What an arm. And that's going to do it for that half of the frame. Bottom third, 6-2 Mississippi. Cole Smith will bat in. Conley Brown make it a 7-2. Then Ginn's going to pop up to the pitcher. But it brings in Thomas from third. Now that's some heads up base runner. Troop rallies again scoring another to make it 8-3. But Anderson walks to load the bases for Winston Turner who would then hit into a double play that ends the inning. If there's one thing these Mississippi boys can do, it's play defense. Defense wins championships. That's what they tell me. So Troop's still trying to fight back. Down by eight. They're going to get a leadoff hit by Farrar. Kevin Kraft's going to come up to try to do something. But then there's going to be a, oh, look, knocked it down. The defense just keeps on coming. Peyton Yon lays down the bunt. Overthrow at first, going to bring in Spate. And move Yon over to third. And then Cortez Brown, my man, brings in Yon with a base hit. And no sixth inning is necessary. The Mississippi team is your world champion. They will represent Dixie Youth Baseball at the inaugural National Youth Baseball Championships in Memphis, Tennessee. And watch out, boys. Here comes Tag Gatlin. Oh, my goodness. It's a tag sandwich. Being the host team, uh, we haven't played as much as the other states. They had to go through districts, go through state, and as some people think they've earned it more maybe. But as um, the host team, um, we showed that we could play with any of the state champions, and we made it all the way to the championship game. So uh, we're real proud of our kids to, and I guess it's the first time in, since 1971 that a host team has made it to the championship game since 1971. So that's, that's a long time. Our boys did a good job. This team's been together a while, and uh, they know how to win, and they've got a lot of belief. And uh, when, when we play the way we're supposed to play, which is routine plays and, and, and get good pitching, throw strikes, limit walks, you know, just make the plays you're supposed to play. I, I'd like, I, I'll stack us up against anybody. And one thing this tournament um, we have done that we hadn't done all year, actually, I knew we had the capability, but we swung the bats. This is the best we swung the bats the whole all-star season. <laughs> <laughs>